Guy has kindly uh, built a little application for us. Perhaps you'd like to tell us a little bit about that. Certainly. Well, it's an application that I thought would be useful to demonstrate um, a lot of the, the techniques you'll need to learn to use mm. Delphi. So it incorporates um, you know, the, the, the basic uh, capability to handle text, you mm -hmm. know, a little text editor. It incorporates a multimedia element to be able to play, um, well, actually not only video for Windows files, but also um, sound files as well. Yeah. Um, and it also incorporates database functionality, which is obviously a major part of, of, of any application these days. So mm. it incorporates a lot, three interesting elements, I think. And you mentioned that um, really what Delphi is used for is building these applications very quickly. Yes, indeed. Um, this application, uh, takes, well, we're going to build the application mm -hmm. throughout the video, but you could build this app, this whole application in probably 10 or 15 minutes straight through. So um, it, it really does um, cr you know, make rapid mm -hmm. application development a reality. Is there a trade-off between the ease of use and the speed to build these applications um, as opposed to the, the amount of resources they take on your system? Um, well, there is, yes, traditionally, but uh, Delphi itself is, is, is unique in, the, in as much as it has a compiler mm -hmm. built into it. Now, a compiler is, is a very efficient way of generating an application, an executable. Um, so, in contrast to, to other systems that have a runtime and have a, an interpreter-based uh, uh, mm -hmm. development environment, this is compiled, so it, it actually, you end up with very fast applications in the end that don't require huge resources. Good. Well, let's go and have a look at the application now. And where have you got it? Okay. Well, we're just going to load it into to Delphi first of all. So I'm going to use the file menu and select open. And then I've got a directory here with the application called Newsnet. Newsnet. And we notice, perhaps you might want to just explain the uh, extension there. We saw, was it PAS? P-A-S? Yes, uh, the, 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 the extension um, actually gives you a clue as to the basic language behind um, Delphi. And the language itself is, is based on, and I say based on Pascal, it's mm -hmm. somewhat extended. And I'll talk about some of the, the extensions later on in the video, but right. it's based on Pascal. Good. Well, let's have a look at it. OK, so if I just move up to the, uh, the speed bar up here, you'll yep. see there's a button called Run. I'm just going to click Run and this application will be compiled and run. Uh, it's, it's compiling the application at around about 350,000 lines a minute on a, on a Pentium. Um, and there we have the application. OK, and it's designed to run in a smaller window. Yep. So it's got a, a speed bar in conjunction with a lot of Windows applications these days. You want, want to have a speed bar. Yep. Um, it's got a, a menu with menu shortcuts, so sure. I can use Control o to get access to the open there. Mm -hmm. File view, and obviously uh, the most important is the help about box, I think, because it's where the developer gets to put uh, your, your name in lights, you know. And what about the resources? Often you see the resources on your system in the about box. Yep. Could um, you do that? You could do. I haven't in this instance done that, but uh, you could very easily do that, yes. Yep. Okay. We can see a little uh, graphic there as well. Yes. So this first, the, the application is divided into three areas. As I said, we've got the database area, which is the page we're looking at now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got an area for viewing uh, videos. Um, I can load one of those in now. If we just select uh, a directory with a, a video in, we can choose a couple of these AVI files. Right. And then just press play here on this media player. All right. And and we get a video where did you get this video clip from? These, uh, the, both of these video clips, in fact, actually appear on the CD-ROM um, that you get with Delphi. So okay. some examples there. Something else you've got there, which is becoming quite, um, quite an in thing at the moment, that's these tab dialog or tabbed, uh, what do you call them actually? Tabbed notebook. Tabbed notebook. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, we provide a, a several different ways within Delphi of providing that kind of function or visual functionality, if you like, um, to the user. And this, this is one of the styles uh, we provide. There's also a style where the, the tabs are along the bottom of the yep. window as well. Um, so this is the second page, the videos page. If we just move to the third page, the notes page. This is a little, a little notebook, a little editor, if you like, that enables you to, uh, um, to type in text mm -hmm. and load in um, files. I've got a. I can click the right mouse button once again. That's a common Windows trait now is to use the right mouse button, and I get a little pop-up menu appear. And, and um, the support for that's built into the absolutely program? yes. I'll show you how to do that later on as well. I mm -hmm. can select open, and we get an open dialog box come up. I, let's just find a, a file here. Um, it's going to be one in the Windows directory, I would think. If I select the file type, text files, and we can just yeah, select any one of these yep. files. Okay, well, the text was too big for, the, for that particular memo field, but that would have loaded in a uh, file into this editor. Right. So those are the three areas. Um, if I just go back to the stories page, mm -hmm. just to demonstrate that a little bit more, um, if we move down here, uh, we can see we've got this navigator that enables me to, like a VCR style, I can click next, and we get another record oh. come up. All right. Okay. Um, if I go up to the menu as well, you'll see there's, uh, there's a menu called View, so I can get access to other forms. So mm -hmm. if I select View Crew, yeah. 
and we get another, another form um, come up. Oops. Um, but once again, a navigator, a little bit more complicated navigator here with some other buttons here to enable me to edit data as sure. well. So you've got all, the, all that kind of functionality in there as well. So what's the objective of this little program that you've written? Okay, the little program is, is designed to be a, um, a sort of a news network, as you see at the top there, um, to enable a, a news network to track stories, right. to, to send outside broadcast crews to mm -hmm. them, and to maybe look at some video clips um, from those, those particular stories. That's the that's a scenario, yes. if you like. How long did it take you to build it? Um, it took honest, to, now, be honest here. Be, okay, now I'll be honest. It, it, it took from start to finish about 15 minutes to build it. Yeah. Um, but to design it, obviously, it took somewhat longer than that to create the data files and things yeah. like that. So um, there, are, you know, there are obviously two elements. There's the design mm -hmm. stage and there's the building stage. But no, really, it took about yeah. 15 minutes to do it. So, uh, you know, do, we, do we believe him? Viewers at home can try this on their own later on. Well, you've got a chance to justify yourself in this video because we're going to pull that application apart throughout the video and yes. show people how you put it together. Absolutely. And I think, interestingly enough, we saw support there for multimedia, for rich graphics yes um, full full windows interface control yes that's it um, in fact the, as you'll see in the next section the amount of windows interface components we give you is quite vast there's mm. something like some uh, 70 visual components right. um, that we give you so a very rich array of, of, of shortcuts to mm. developing an application if you like so I mean ev every component you can use as is means you don't have to create a new one of your own which speeds up your application development right well, well let's move on now and see how it was all done <laughs> 